What if I told you that five minutes per day, twice a day, could be all you need to get your Instagram stats from this to this? In fact, I paid five random people from my DMs to do these 10 minute hacks over the span of 30 days, and the results are quite surprising, my friends. I couldn't believe that five was better than six. But let's not get ahead. Now, before we take a look at how many followers just this one strategy brought to our five dominators, did you actually know that you can get mentored by me personally over the next six months, and I'll help you grow your brand depending on where you are? Are, what you need and uh, yeah, what your goals are. I still have a few spots left. Not too many though. You can apply down below in the description and uh, I'll see you soon hopefully. The first one is something I feel like people think they know and whenever I talk about it they're like oh, teach you something new? You but here's what you don't know. I sometimes check people's profiles out after they write me stuff like that. And guess what? Most of them just don't do it or do it the wrong way. Yourself. Now, in order to know the true potential of the strategy, you first need to understand the algorithm, Instagram's algorithm in its basic core first, which is the algorithm needs to know you, who you are, what your content is about, and who your ideal target audience is in order to recommend you to a wider audience. And generally, you should know that they do it by taking a very close look at everything you do and everything you create. You know, for example, they take a look at hashtags, your content, you know, everything that's in there, and then people who actually interact with you and other accounts they interact with. And naturally, because of that, it can take a while for the algorithm to really understand what's going on, which is why you need to give some help and give the Instagram algorithm certain pointers to actually cut that learning curve by a lot. I call it the outreach strategy or one of the outreach strategies and it's basically the backbone of modern Instagram growth and the rules are actually pretty simple. You find your target audience and start interacting with them. Ideally you take competitors and start engaging with their engagers and some will actually interact back checking out your profile if it's optimized if it's good well, pretty good, you get followers. Plus, you actually, and this is the important thing, you give the algorithm valuable insights to you know, actually who to recommend you to and to actually get recommended faster. Now, doing this just five minutes a day will massively increase your exposure and you know, actually get you to baseline attention level. People can grow 500 to 1,000 followers a month just by doing this. There's one thing you need to watch out though, do it rather slower than faster to not get flagged as a spammer. But if you naturally do it and actually engage with people and not spam them, you actually should be fine. So five days after we started just with this whole outreach method, Dominator A got a whopping 38 extra followers. Dominator B got 51, not bad. Dominator C, seven, but I'm sure they were half assing everything. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get to that a little later. Profile D and E also did quite well, I would say with 42 and 48 uh, followers reached within the first five days. So with 25 days left, looking at these things, <laughs> we're a lot closer to our goals, right? <laughs> but that's the game. Now here's the thing with this outreach strategy. Once you get a certain level of organic growth, you can actually stop with it because while you can get a certain baseline, you know, with it, there is a cap and your time afterwards is better spent doing some other things. Like this next five minute hack that's on our list. You might have heard me or other people say, well, great, at least one reel a day to grow on Instagram. And you might feel a little overwhelmed just, you know, thinking about this right now. But what if I told you, you absolutely can create one reel or actually normal feed post per day. It's not just about reels, don't forget that. And actually with minimal effort, some might even say you can create, let's say a reel a day with just 10 minutes a day. So first let me show you some data on why posting at least once a day is actually the key to success right now with the example of Dominator A. Before this challenge, if you will, he posted about once to twice a week, sometimes a reel, sometimes a feed post, and generally he reached around 400 people per post. Then with this new strategy that we're gonna talk about today, he he actually managed to post once a day. And here's the interesting thing, on some days he reached 300 people, and especially at the beginning, some days were you know, actually pretty bad, where he'd only reached 60 people. But on the other hand, some were actually really good, where he reached 3,000, for example. So even though at the beginning, on average, he reached less people per post, 400 before to you know, 300, sometimes even less, if you count them together, it's still a lot more than before. You know, not even speaking about outlier posts that were there here and there. And that's the actual thing. So many people get discouraged by numbers that are a bit lower than usual, even though that's actually good sometimes because the big picture matters. So how can you actually do the same with minimal extra effort? First of all, 
Saying goodbye to your quality standards. They're not as important as you might think, especially on Instagram. You know, you can always increase the standards later on once you've got an established fan base. But for now, you know, just try to cut as much possible for maximum content output. First, let's take a look at your previous posts and reels. Chances are actually pretty high. You could either simply reshare them again, you know, or rehash them and make them a little bit different, or you could provide an update on it. Or you can even take a carousel, for example, you've made and create a reel or vice versa. It doesn't even matter if you post the exact same post again after a few months. People forgot about it already. Yeah, I can tell you that. Very sad, but it's actually true. The next thing that seems to work pretty well nowadays, which is, by the way, a trend coming slowly over from TikTok, are very short reels with the longer text. So, for example, something like this has a lot of reasons, especially you know, talking about the algorithm. And if you pair this with a trending audio, for example, something like this just takes about three minutes to make, you know, especially if you have a bank of ideas that you continually note down somewhere. Yeah, you can make three of those in a 10 minute session paired with one repost, let's say one rehash and one post you do anyway. And voila, you already have six posts right there with minimal effort. If you want to get even more ideas and insights and maybe a slight push, I still have the free reels challenge down below somewhere that you can actually start right now to get into this whole habit of grading we also have a free workbook that comes with it a roadmap you know some ideas down below a second link in the description i guess so here's where it gets really interesting 23 days in this is what our profiles growth looked like not bad but yeah just okay i'd say 25 days in dominator b actually popped on tiktok <laughs> you know we didn't expect that because she was actually really smart and posted all her content over there as well getting 11,000 followers over the span of about four or three days now 26 days in dominator a ah oh, started seeing traction again gaining about 4,000 followers in just about five days or something like this getting to 10,624 followers right on day 32. <laughs> Yeah, wasn't 30, but let's just say it counts. Now, what about the other three? Well, there's something I didn't tell you about before. I actually lied to you. See, I actually didn't challenge them for 30 days. It was actually 90 days. Dominator C actually hit 7,000 followers by the end of those 90 days. Dominator D, let me just check. Well, um, yeah. He goes with me after 17 days, <laughs> you know, going back to his once a week posting schedule after he saw that he gets less reach initially after posting once a day. Yeah, he's at 268 followers right now. He started with 202, so I guess still a win for him. I don't know. And Dominator D going pretty strong, just having had 6,000 followers the other day. Still pretty good, if you ask me. Now, here's the other thing. Dominator A and B, kind of gets confusing already. They continue to put in the effort, and just 60 days after hitting 10,000 followers, Dominator A hit, drum roll, 34,000 followers, crushing it right now. Consistency, my friends. Now, I lied to you again. There's actually one more thing these creators did to get the most out of this challenge. I talk about it in this video right there. It's something so many creators forget about, and it's actually responsible for a lot of bad reach. 